First up, my ex-girlfriend, 23 female, that dumped me, 24 male, to start seeing someone else, wants to see my dog. My ex-girlfriend that dumped me almost three months ago after dating for over two years and lived together, she left to start fooling around with someone new and lied about it. She has texted me wanting to see my dog. We got the dog together when we were dating, but I paid for the dog, not cheap, and all the vet bills. By all accounts, he is my dog and I took him when we split. She texted me about a month after we split one to see him and I said that he was doing well and that I have him taken care of. Fast forward about seven weeks and she has recently texted me again asking to meet her and her new dog at the dog park. I asked her to state her intentions as this is very random and a bit unfair as she was the one that cut things off and replaced both me and my dog. I told her that I did not want to see her as it would bring up too much unwanted emotion for me and I didn't believe it to be fair for my dog. (laughs) I've always been very honest with her even though she hasn't been with me. It's just not in my character to lie to someone I care deeply for. I also told her that she can't keep contacting me and that she made her choice and she needs to accept it. Was this attempt just to see the dog or is there an ulterior motive here? Any advice would be helpful. My head is spinning and I would be open to having a conversation with her, but she would need to state that as her intention. I'm very guarded now and could definitely be overanalyzing. Seeing her would also bring up a lot of unwanted emotion that would not be good for me trying to protect myself wow very healthy boundaries i know wow this op he seems so mature yeah i love it i'm impressed me too the girl texts him though yeah i think he's right about everything and it's a bad idea to see her oh yeah definitely especially because like he said she she replaced me and the dog like you know like she she went as far as to like get a new dog too. Like I don't know. You don't need to see the other dog yeah. anymore. You have your new dog and your new guy. Yeah. It's just no. yeah, what would be the point? And if you just want to meet so that your dogs can play the dog park, like I feel like you could text a friend yeah. with a dog and do that yeah. with them, not your ex boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever this is. Yeah, it would be his it would be her ex boyfriend. Okay. I think she either has ulterior motives, which would be trying to spark a friendship with you that may lead to a romantic relationship down the road Mm -hmm. or maybe she just wants to see you to show you how good she's doing some people are into doing that Mm -hmm. or maybe she just is dumb and doesn't see how problematic this would be (laughs) and I've Maybe we'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she doesn't have ulterior motives. Right. And she genuinely is just like, ooh, maybe we can have a dog play date now that I got a dog. And it's like, no, you don't need to be friends with your ex that you cheated on and then dumped. Wait, did she? Yeah, she. Well, he said she left to start fooling around with someone new and lied about it. So I think, did he say that she had been seeing him while they were still dating too? Yeah. So I guess we don't know if they were seeing each other while they were still dating, Mm -hmm. but she left him for somebody else. Right. I think also maybe she's not as hurt over the breakup because she made the decision Mm -hmm. to leave him Mm -hmm. and she's not the one that was blindsided about it and lied to and traumatized because she made all the decisions. So seeing you may not affect her in the way that it will affect you. Right. I think she might just be dumb. Yeah. (laughs) That's, yeah, that's what it sounds like. It it doesn't really sound like manipulation or like, yeah, yeah, ulterior motives. Yeah. She just is not aware of what she's doing. Yeah. I think she's extremely lucky to have you, though, because you're actually giving her the time of day still Mm -hmm. and explaining to her in a mature way why this is problematic and how it affects you. It's like, does she even deserve that? Probably not. But... OP, you're giving that to her. Your honesty will hopefully help her be a better person and learn. Mm -hmm. His communication is just top notch. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Bravo. (laughs) So true. I think also when there's pets involved in breakups, it's even harder because you have two people to miss and Mm -hmm. it's possible that she's just missing the dog and wants to see the dog. Like maybe it's just that. It's that. Which in that case, in that case, I feel for her. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Wait, but I love OP. He says, I didn't believe it to be fair for my dog. I know. He's thinking of the dog. That's so cute. I know. The dog was probably so sad when she just didn't come home one day. 
I know. Like, don't put him through that heartbreak again. Him or her. I don't know. Yeah. Also, don't let people use their dog, and by people I mean your ex, (laughs) to manipulate you into seeing each other or getting back together or telling you that you're meant to be. I saw this TikTok that was like, if your dog falls in love with her too, she's meant for you. And Mm -hmm. I was like, that is simply not true at all whatsoever your dog can love her and she cannot be the one for you still Mm -hmm. so i would say do not make any decisions based off of the dog other than (laughs) it wouldn't be fair for the dog to see her Mm -hmm. (laughs) wow op though like clap it up you're just Mm -hmm. like killing it over there yeah king our king king (laughs) 